the right decision, even if it's hard and you will have a future instead of a life putting out fires. Let me explain. Our future self will come sooner or later and he will be either happy or pissed off for us for screwing up his life. We all have three levels, the high, the norm and the low. The only way to avoid the real low is living in the norm and not go chasing the highs. The problem today, we lost our norm and we just think if it's not a dopamine hit then we're falling to depression. That's simply not true. The norm is the place we should all strive to live in. That's the problem solving stage. That's the decision making stage. That's our life and that's everything that defines us for the future and makes us who we are. The high is just a level that we're going chasing stuff like smoking a smoke, drinking a drink. In reality that's dopamine hits that we should receive after working out or doing something good. But today is just simply seeing boobs on TikTok. The low that's where we are defeated. Even for a while that's the stage we all try to avoid. Today we lost our norm and the problem is by chasing the highs going back to the norm we feel that we're in the low and we're avoiding that. And by avoiding our lives and by avoiding those decisions and those life moments and everything that builds us we're avoiding our real life and we're not building anything for the future. Chasing the high will only get us to the low in reality and we need to live in the norm. The norm is what builds us and we want to become the people we want to become in, in the future. We get confused between the highs and the norm because today it's so easy going chasing the highs. Every time you see boobs on TikTok, every night of drinking you go out with your friends, every new girl you meet, that's just highs. And when you're going back to the norm, you want to avoid it because you're feeling that's the low. When those moments occur in your life and you need to make a decision, that's the real life. When you need to solve a problem, that's the real life moment that you should do. Those are the moments that will build you as a person and those are the moments that will make you be proud in yourself in 10 years from now and not just bitching and crying that oh man my life is screwed up and it didn't achieve anything. I remember at 21 to 25 after the army just working regular jobs and just thinking to myself I'm not gonna accomplish anything like that. I went to the mall and bought my first laptop for like 18 installments. Now I didn't have any money to spare like nothing at all but I understood that I don't want to continue the same old path. And after about five six years of chasing that dream and finding what I want to do with my life and finding how I can do it online I just remember sitting and being so happy I made those hard decisions. Avoiding those rewards and not going up for another night of drinking, not go chasing a new girl and not doing anything like that and just sitting at home and trying to find myself, that built me for who I am today and I'm proud of myself for that. I'm happy how my life looks. Even today in the morning, look at the floor, I don't want to do my push-ups. But I remember the first one is the hardest and then it becomes easier. And I also remember that the reward will come later because when I'm 50, when I'm 60, I will be able to do the things I want to do. I will be able to travel and have fun and do sports. And even at 40, not having a dad bod by the pool, that's something I strive to. Remember, the norm, that's the place we want to anchor ourselves to. That's the place where we should live. That's the problems we should solve and that's all of the things that we should become in the future. Those moments are the real important ones. Chasing the dopamine is just a scam for us to get us off track. That's just something the world is selling to us and that's just something we fall to. And the only option not to fall to a real low is anchoring ourselves to the norm and avoiding rushing to those dopamine highs and avoiding just chasing a dream that's not true. Stay with me and I'm gonna talk about smarter things.